Welcome back to Hand of Fate. It's just about time to take on the Queen of Scales, but before that, there's one thing I need to do. Remember how my shield kept mysteriously disappearing? Well, somebody confirmed to me that it is in fact Mr. Lionel, that little bastard who keeps stealing it. So fuck you, Mr. Lionel. You can go play with a dragon cow. Get out of here. Ah. <sighs> What shall I add in? There's no... Yeah, there's no new encounters that I have not completed up in here, so it's going to be something old. Hmm. Hmm. I don't actually know. I prefer something that could give me food, but I'm not sure what could give me food. Let's try Devil's Wager? Isn't that the one where I had to kill enemies with only like eight hit points or something? You will find very little success in the Queen's domain. Even fate itself turns against you here. These steps you take, none have taken before. Do you appreciate what I have built? Do you understand the elegance of the systems I have forged? I do. They are quite beautiful. Whenever the player uses an artifact, there's a 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown time by 80%. Oh, yes. Okay, so I really, really want to find the Ratman... Uh, what's it called? Whatever the one where you can, uh, like, pay the king 50 gold and you can get rid of the Ratman. I really want to get that, because now I'm not only going to be facing the Ratman hunting parties, but I'm also going to be facing the, like, Lava Golem hunting parties. So I really want to thin those out of my deck. At least I didn't get myself down to 10 hit points. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Ooh, yes I am. Also, I forgot to check my starting equipment because it has been upgraded. I actually have no idea what any of these do. Oh, wait a minute, fleet cuffs. I think that maybe increases my movement speed. Yeah, but I'm not sure about the other ones. Let's try Emperor's Jewel. Ah, a wondrous artifact. Good luck with it. Oh, one free artifact used per combat? Well, that's completely useless because I don't have any artifacts. Unless in the upgrade it perhaps gave me a default one? I'll have to check. Faster is always better. You'll be able to perform your most damaging attacks without building a combo. Hmm. Do I actually need to build a combo at the moment? Don't you need a special weapon for that or something? Or like a berserker armor or whatever? I don't know, that doesn't sound very good. 
Let's go with the movement speed. I was always a fan of being fleet of mind. You'll have to settle for being fleet of foot. Okay, so it looks like I still start with the default shield. Would you like to equip the shield instead of the shield? Yes, please. As pleases you. Alright, seems I've come to the end. And <laughs> the other ways were lost in a swamp. So I think I'm just gonna go. Now, this is my kind of travel. <laughs> yeah, how many how many different ways have we like exited a dungeon level before? We've gone up and down stairs. We've rode in a carriage. Um, I think we've gone by boat. There was some like forced thing. And now we're just traveling by portals. Why did that reveal itself? I have sat where you sit now. The game, though, the game is very different. I doubt even I would have reached this point. I feel like soon we're just going to be traveling on... I'm just going to, like, ride on a dragon's back to get to the next level. Please don't have a barking dog. Please don't have a barking dog. Please don't have a barking dog. Ah. <sighs> Sell a shield. Don't forget to counter. Defense must always be balanced by offense. Okay, so let's see what I start with. Medium armor still, that's still... I think the only upgrade is the Merchant's Ring. That's new. All shops are revealed when entering a new region. Oh, that's why it revealed itself. Okay. Alright, that's kind of cool. Uh, I guess I'll check items first. I can't afford anything. Nobly mind, or simply noble by birth. Indeed. A nobleman passes you on the road in the town of Steagle but casts little more than a glance at you. Oh, I guess I needed some sort of an item or something. I was beneath him. You cannot come to this table with debts outstanding. I still don't have any money, I'm sorry. Are you afraid of the grave? What irony. In an old abandoned graveyard, the restless spirits sense the presence of a blessed soul and remain quiet. You spend a peaceful night, awakening well rested and fully recovered from your wounds. Oh. What nice dead spirits. One more piece of the puzzle for you. <laughs> Alright, golem hunting party was the other way, no thanks. I think I'll just leave. Ambush. But what can you do, eh? Just leave your journey to end here. I think not. Taverns, caves, dungeons, and the roads between them. Over and over, again and again. You find yourself in this seedy old tavern, spinning tales of your adventures to a group of drunks. A bearded old soldier scoffs at your tails and challenges challenges you to an arm wrestle. So I can either wager gold or an item. Well, I don't have the gold. I like my gauntlets, but I don't really care about my helmet that much. The crown of hindsight. So let's wager that. Oh, Jesus! Choose from these options. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Not only was it three shuffles, but they were at, like, lightning speed. I have no idea. Okay, cool. You lose. Many thanks for this magical helm, my friend. Eh, that's fine. Whew. 
Oof. Will you undo the damage you have done? No, I think I'm just going to inflict more damage. Defeat this challenge three times in one session to remove it from your deck. Oh. Hmm, that's quite different from the rat hunting party thing. Interesting. Well, I'm pretty sure there's only three of them in the entire... Like, in the entire round. So I think at that point that means I'd have to actually go back. Because there was one on the last level. On a moonlit night, you see a group of golems on their way to attack another human settlement. You bastards. The earth comes to life. Animated by its desire to respond to the threats of man. I could avoid them, but... I know I can defeat them pretty easily. It's, it's gonna take a while, but... My old tactics seem to work really well. You charge into battle! Wait, what would happen if I failed? Does that mean I'd like go into battle with my pants down? With none of my equipment? Like the golem caught me while I was going to the bathroom? Okay, there's a trap. Let's fight him over here, where there's no traps. Also, I'm super fast. Holy crap! Look at this. This looks so cool. Leaving lightning trails on the ground. Oh, I can I can stun him now, right? Because I don't have that curse. Ooh. Oh, I can even go in the water. Also, this camera is insane! Oh my god, this camera is really disorientating. Holy crap. Can't hit me. Can't hit me. Bet you can't catch me. Bet you can't catch me. I want to counter him. I can't be countered. Counter, 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 counter. There we go. Ooh, almost rolled in the traps. Seriously, this camera is insane. This is really nauseating. And uncomfortable. The loose piles of rocks and stones around you are a good start at teaching these creatures a lesson. Some local villagers give you food, with thanks. Oh, thank you. Fight the lizardmen, if you will, but proceed with caution. They are smarter than they appear. Well, this has been pretty easy in the past, although I think they, yeah, they take my equipment, so I guess I'm not gonna have a shield. Let's go with the Two of Dust. Yeah. I don't know, it's got three red dots on it, so I'm assuming that means they're extra hard. Yep, no shield. Alright, lots of flame, too. Yeah, hit him when he's down. I was not even close to challenging. Four game cards just for that. Whew. Oh, 
Oh my god. I need to leave that one in, because that is an incredibly good source of stuff. I almost want to travel back to the shop, but, uh... No, let's save the money. I actually almost have 50, so if I encounter that card that uh, wants me to pay to get rid of the Ratman, I would like to pay that. Just to permanently get rid of them. Um... Sure. The thing is, though, I don't think it can actually be on this level, because I've encountered every single card except the exit. So it's got to be on the next one, so I'm a little bit worried about it taking too long to get there. Yeah, go ahead and equip that. Shield Bash deals damage to the opponent. Damage increases, you go up, combo tiers. Equip that too. More yeah. than anything, I am proud of my array of curses. <laughs> yes. Oh, it actually puts it into the level even if it wasn't there before, gotcha. Alright, so it's just right here. Cool. You can have the sword, and you can have the shield. And one blessing. Useful. At the beginning of every battle, the old gods throw down thunder upon one of your enemies. Hmm. That could be good, depending on how much damage it does. Let me make sure I have my stuff equipped. Okay, yeah, I'd equip my other stuff. Caves and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. The stairs are right here? Um, hmm, do I want to go through the stairs? Not really. Just gonna skip the shop for now. Spirits roaming the darkness. With the struggles, the boundaries are weaker than they've ever been. Okay, so this time I get to make another attempt at this, which is good, because last time I tried to attack the ghost and it was very sad and it was pretty depressing. Alright, so it's signaling that it means no harm. This time I'm going to lower my weapon. I should not be here. I fear his servants already know where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly familiar. Please come home soon. You blink, and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. Huh. Strange. Lost. Without a clue. This is a chance to learn how valuable your equipment can be in the right circumstances. You become lost in a swamp. In all directions, you see nothing but murky water, twisted trees, and mist. The smell is appalling. You hear muffled movement, and can just make out a humanoid figure in the mist, beckoning to you. Hmm. <laughs> Do I follow the figure in the mist, or not? There's a lot of things that look humanoid that are not human. You know, I bet it's Lionel. I bet Lionel's in the fucking mist and he wants to steal my shield when I'm not looking. You little bastard. No, I'm moving in the opposite direction. You carefully move away from the figure as silently as the mire allows. The bank misty forest that surrounds you is eerily quiet as you struggle through the... Fetid waters? I think that's pronounced fetid, right? I don't think it's foded. Attempt to find a way out of the swamp. Okay, 50-50. You find your way out of the swamp after only a day of wandering. Hmm. I 
still want to save my gold for the Ratman hunting party. I mean, I don't have enough, but if I spend it, then I'm certainly not going to have enough. Let's, uh, let's pass it. Frivolity is not my forte. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> nope. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Cheers and gasps that draw you to a large tent. Inside, you discover a number of spectacles being performed by costumed artists. Uh, oh, she sneezed fire onto me again. Thank you. How unpleasant. That's actually perfectly fine. I'll regen that just getting to the stairs. Uh, and that's it. Damn, that one's really hard to get. Wimpsy and Caprice. The domains of the old gods. Were they always thus? Or has age corrupted their natures? On a deserted hilltop in a faraway land, you discover an old altar. The gods of the old religion are powerful, yet unpredictable, in their favors. Do you wish to pray at the altar? Sure, what could go wrong? Oh, huge failure could go wrong. On bended knee, you beseech the gods to aid you in your quest. A distant rumbling and a flash of lightning answers your prayer. When blessing. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Any hit on the player during combat has a chance to poison the attacker. Eh, it's another kind of mediocre blessing. Because ideally you're not even getting hit in the first place, but that's okay. I mean, it certainly doesn't hurt. Deeper towards our foe. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. Alright, I'm gonna save my food and my gold. Well, I'm not gonna save my food. I'm gonna save my gold until I get to the shop. I should have just enough food to go all the way to the right, and then down and to the right, and then left, and then back up to the shop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have just enough to do that. So let's see what happens in those guards. Okay. Perhaps this will be the end of your road. Our old friend, the Jack of Plague, returns to fight another day. Okay, defeating four skeleton, uh, yeah, four skeletons without taking any damage, easy. Defeating the Jack of Plague without taking any damage? Hmm. I don't know. This could very easily kill me. No, it's not worth it. Let us meet those who worship natural forces rather than the gods. You are approached by a group of mysterious robed people. One of the robed figures addresses you. You look well accustomed to battle. Would you like to earn some coin? Sure. We are druids, wishing to perform certain rituals over the coming weeks. These activities must, must take place at specific times and places. We cannot risk any interruptions, such as from creatures or bandits. We will pay gold to one who protects us during the ceremonies. Sure. The first ceremony will be at the, sa the Sacred Stones, at exactly midday on the summer solstice. We shall see you there. I have foreseen it. You have earned this. Huh. 
So maybe the, the coin that I earn from doing that is going to give me the encounter card to protect them? Because otherwise, I mean, it didn't... I don't think I'm actually going to be encountering it in this run. Eh, no problem. As long as the level isn't filled with traps. Nope, we're good. <laughs> Thank you, gods. It smote one of them. Oh, that's the uh, rat leap attack I just did. Or tried to do. Yes. All right, I think I can save my gold even further. They hunt only because you have so inspired them. Two of them? I mean, I, I guess that should be just about as easy as taking on one of them, I suppose. It's just going to take a lot longer, but... Um, is there any reason to do it, though? Because I don't think I'm going to encounter three. Uh, maybe there are more than three in the entire run. If there's only three, then I would have to go back quite a few levels, if that's even possible, to get them. But um, maybe there's more than three. I'm not sure. Let's attack. A choice. Select your desire. Come on. The creatures notice your approach. One of them manages to get behind you and gain the first strike. That's fine. Maybe the gods will kill one of them outright with lightning. Come on. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, it actually did kill him. So it's a one hit kill. That is amazing. What in the hell? Somebody's calling me. I'll be right back. Okay, where was I before I was rudely interrupted? Oh! I tried to counter the attack, but it was a red one. I couldn't counter it. And I was stuck in the animation. Oh, son of a bitch! Alright, I'm getting out of here. I wish I could turn the camera around. Son of a bitch. Took a lot of stupid damage there for some reason. That's fine though. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. 
think there's some food waiting for me at the shop. It looks like somebody left me a present there, so I don't think I should leave yet. There we go. And since I'm here, I might as well take a peek here. Hmm. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. I don't have full health, so I don't think I want to do this. But then again, I am going to regen quite a bit of health just making it to the forest escape. Yeah, let's do it. What the hell? Oh, 60 health? That's the lowest I can bid? I forgot that. Um, and <laughs> I have no choice, I have to bid now. What if you actually did this when you only had, like, 60 or less hit points? Would that guarantee your death? Would they just suck you dry until you're just a husk? Alright, here we go. <sighs> Three failures, one success. Wonderful. I have no idea. Oh! Okay. You are successful in your bid. The strange creature returns and says, Your item will be gift wrapped and sent to you. Gift wrapped and sent to you. You decide to leave before the vampires take any further interest in you. Hmm. An expedition. Press on. She's out there now, waiting for you. Alright, I am disturbingly low on health, so let's take a peek here. I'm not sure if I can actually purchase a heal. I know I can purchase food, but I think you'd only purchase heals at a healer. Oh, no, 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 we can actually heal. I think I should do that. I'm disturbingly low. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. Check the items real quick. A hit on the player gives the player's next attack a 25% damage bonus. Hmm. <laughs> That's a cool mask. Increased attack damage based on inverse of player's gold. So the less gold you have, the more damage you do? I swear I've heard this tale before, from other lips than yours. We play for a token now. One day, on a long country road, you meet a pair of wandering minstrels. The pair inquires as to your current needs, explaining that they have many interesting and unique talents. Hmm, there's a bunch of things I can do. It seems like it might be kind of like the Maiden. So information about the road ahead, that would tell me where cards are. Or rather, what's under the cards. Obviously food would give me food, request a song, maybe that'd give me a blessing or something. Uh, let's request food. The pair look at each other dubiously. We are but humble traveling minstrels with little, little to spare, but we will trade half of our food for half of your gold, if you want to share. Hey, that rhymed. Little to spare, if you want to share. <laughs> I can ask for some free food. That's greedy as hell. Well, I guess I'm not paying the uh, Ratman hunting party. Okay. One food gain card. For like 15 gold? Ooh. I'm going to have to roll high on this food gain card for it to be worth it. That was not a good deal. That was that was a terrible deal. Okay, so that's something you want to do if you're very low on gold. You certainly have a lot of gold, one of the minstrels exclaims. In thanks, the pair tell you where to find an oracle to the old gods. Oh. 
We are heading to Kader next. The Duke is holding a victory celebration, requiring the services of fine entertainers such as ourselves. Perhaps we will see you there? Perhaps. Who can resist the cries of a damsel in distress? Will you brave the pirates for the sake of this fair maiden? Screams draw you to a nearby cave. Inside, you see a terrified maiden being held captive by pirates. A pleasure to see the queen Ooh. return. Three mages and a queen. Let's try to talk him out of it first. Boldly, you approach the pirates and announce yourself. The pirates seem surprised by your arrival. Um, <laughs> let's pay them off. The pirates accept your offer. Gratefully, the tearful young girl promises to leave supplies in the forest for you, then flees into the shadows. Okay, not bad. Sparse and relatively empty. Mostly, we skip over these moments in our memory. Yet something has caught you here. As you traverse a particularly tricky trail across a mountain ridge, you notice a dark ravine beneath you. Something glitters in the dim sunlight that reaches the base of that cavern. I guess it's the ore. Let's take a look. In the gloom of the narrow canyon, you find the old remains of a wooden cart, apparently having fallen down years ago. You find nothing of worth, except a chunk of glittering metallic ore. It might not sell for much in its current state, but perhaps you can find someone who can use it. You take it and make your way back up the path. Hmm. I think that'd be used to unlock another card. Um, I'm trying to think of the ones where, like, I, I went into the encounter and I couldn't do anything. There's only two I can think of. There's the... Uh, what was he? The... The high up dude? The royal person who looked at me and then just thought I was beneath him? Maybe something could happen there. And there's also, like, the ruined chapel or whatever. Where you go there and no option popped up before to actually do anything. Those are the only two ones I can think of. Oh. A queen of power and grace. Well, this is... awkward. I still have the default weapon, and I'm not even at full health. The majestic queen of scales can launch powerful fireballs, and her totem spits out a healing fire that seeks out her children. A healing fire. Hmm. This brood mother will have birthed more of her kind than you could kill in 12 lifetimes. Okay, fireballs and healing totems. So I need to take out the totems first. Oh god, I have... I don't have time heals or anything like that. I have the default weapon. I don't have full health. At least I have a shield, but I don't think this is going to go very well. I think I'm dead. Again, a token is at stake. Here we go. I haven't died to an end boss yet, but I think this might be the one. Okay, she's pretty badass looking. Gotta hand it to her. Alright, totems first. Damn, why couldn't it why couldn't the uh, random lightning thing have smote the boss? Stop burning!
Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. I think it's down. Yeah, it seems to be. Alright, so now we can take out the children without them being healed. Screw you. Okay, just you and me. Seems to be enraged. Oh! Okay. Short range fireballs. Hard to dodge. Yeah, that's what I want you to do, because then I can just come up behind you. Oh, that's it? You have destroyed something priceless, my friend. Do you ever wonder if your fell hand and the damage it causes are worthwhile? Petty treasures retrieved from death and disaster. Petty treasures? These are your own creations. Are you calling your own creations petty? Trader. We come close to an end for all things. Ah, the King of Plague. Let's take a look at the cards I just got, build the new deck, and then end the episode. So let's see what curses we have. Wrath of Food. In combat, on each counterattack, the player inflicts double damage and loses one food. What? Wait, what? I'm... I'm gonna be constantly starving. Counterattack. What exactly is a counterattack? I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is that the ref... I, that, is that the reflect thing? Where you counter an attack? I guess that is a counter. What about when you reflect, like, an, a projectile? Is that a counterattack? Well, whatever that is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be very, very bad. And time distortion. In combat, everybody moves 20% faster and receives plus 50% damage from all sources. Everybody. Holy crap. Okay, wow. This one is going to be very hard. He has grown in the dark, 
surviving every challenge and feasting upon the bones of every single failure. Toss in the new weapon. See what other new items we have. Um, you know, I should toss out... Let's toss out the basic shields. Yeah, it gives me three good shields. Should be fine. I do need more rings. I'm just going to toss out Warcry in favor of spiritual healing. Alright, seems good. Alright, one more. I think I'm actually going to dump that Devil Deal. Or Devil's Wager. Yeah, because before it was pretty easy because I only had to defeat, like, four Ratmen or something like that without taking any damage, which isn't too hard, but... Now, because I'm at such a high level, I have to defeat, like, a freaking mini-boss. So, no, it's not worth it. It's way too dangerous. Okay, and I think that's all for the new stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I will attempt to take on the King of Plague.